like this. I, I, I think, honestly, this Alexander Magierix, I really, just, I, I like all of these. I think these are all really unique, interesting puzzles. Episode 74. Yeah, puzzle time episode 74. We are doing a draw today for Butterfly's Revenge. Butterfly's Revenge. I have got everybody's name here in these sticky notes numbered from one to ten. Tony, you are gonna pick a number. What ten. number do you want? Go with ten. Ten? Yeah, go all the oh, way. Oh, ten. Okay, this might be a semi-familiar name. That is Kelsey Lester is our winner. Nice. Let's show it on the top camera here. It's better. Kelsey Lester. I suspect this is uh, Dennis Lester's, some relation of his. Maybe daughter. I don't know. He's the puzzling corner, puzzle time, puzzling corner. Oh, yeah. Or yeah, puzzling, yeah. yeah. Yeah, puzzling corner. Ooh. Puzzle corner, yeah. Uh, so, Kelsey Lester, you have won yourself in Butterfly's Revenge. Info at puzzle.ca. Info at puzzlemaster.ca is what I've been told to use. So oh, okay. Info at puzzlemaster.ca. Email us there to get your puzzle. Nice. Maybe and we should put that little address right, right here? Yeah, we can throw right it down here. I'm sure we can yeah. throw it on the bottom. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, now, on to our next draw. We are doing a draw for Hanayama's Cast Key 2. Comment like like this video, comment on it, and uh, you'll be entered to win your own cast key too. Uh, unfortunately, still nothing on the last two people. So Steve Watson, if you're watching, um, email us, info at puzzlemaster.ca. Same one, you saw it already. Yeah, get your puzzle, oh, and then, um, who is the other one? Sylvianne Coisano. Still has not emailed us. Info at puzzlemaster.ca. If you know either of these people, tell them to email us. Um, because next week we're just gonna we're gonna re give away those puzzles. Sounds good. Someone new. So you have one week. Do it up. There it is. Key, cast key to comment like. Let's get into today's puzzles. Um, we're doing we're doing Pelican. We're doing some of the new Pelican release, and this is all the um, Alexander Magierix, uh designs. So it's three of oh, them. Oh, that's why they all came out at once, eh? Yeah. Well, there's there was him, and there was some from. Dr. Volker, the two second. I think there's two from him or three. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into Let's do sliders first. That's this one right here. That's this one? Yep. This is a level eight. Again, it's from Pelican. So, I mean, you know Pelican. They have phenomenal designs um, or Pack designs puzzle. and creation or puzzles. They've, yeah, really okay, nice wood Are we taking wood any of these like, because... Well, we can. I mean, honestly, the puzzle master is tired of putting back together our puzzles. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we we can pull some of this out a bit, but like, let's not take it apart. I mean, we've we've done that a, a few times to him lately. <laughs> so this one's interesting. So it's um, first off, it's made out of pink oak on the outside, so that's the box. Very cool. Um, and then on the inside is either uh, no, it's purple heart. Purple yeah. heart. It's gotta be. Yeah, and then I I and this wing is this the wenge? I think this the... is wenge. Yeah, I think this is wenge. Um, so that's, cool. yes, it would be, it would be Wenge, but it didn't say that in the description, which is odd. So yeah, yeah let's do, you want to pull, pull the pieces out in yours. I'll, yeah. I'll just, I'll leave this one together so we can like kind of put it back together. But let's see if we can solve it. This one's like the easiest of the three. I think it's a level eight. Okay. Um, I so I mean this, oh, there's, so these stay in. they stay in and they slide. So it creates I some differences. See. Now. There is, this is actually the solved state. Now, actually, I don't mind that because for one reason, actually on this, there is essentially there's eight different positions these sliders can be in. So one could be here, one could be here. It's like there's apparently oh, there's eight, okay. I don't know, something like that. But there's eight different uh, positions they can be in. Seven of the positions can be solved around it. So there's actually seven different solutions to this puzzle. So this is the first solution. So this is one of the solutions where the sliders are both here. So there's another solution where like both sliders maybe are in the middle. I don't know. So it's interesting. 
Um, how many pieces? There's only three pieces? Four. Four pieces? Four okay. Pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you can get another solution? Dude, I thought I had it. I just need to figure out how to fit this piece in here. I need oh. it to go like this. You keep working on that. Okay. I'm going to go on to the next one because this is the one I kind of want to solve a bit. So I'm going to go on to Pepper Caster. So again, Alexander May uh, really unique puzzle because it's triangular. Um, so there's a little bit of a write-up, I think, on our, our website by Kevin Sadler, one of the puzzle guys out there who does does some reviews. And he said the uh, triangular shape of this puzzle and like the inside pieces is very unique. It's hard to design first off. And... Uh, and then second, it's hard to design it where there might, because there might be some rotation in there, right? Because the mm -hmm. triangular stuff will allow a little more rotation, to have some more movement. It's a weird puzzle. Um, and this is, so Puzzle Guy usually does a lot of the Pelican stuff. Um, he had a whole video when these first came out, I think before they came out actually, where he kind of just showed a bit of the puzzles, but he's only really solved the pepper caster on video. That was the only one I could find on his, uh, on his page. So if you want to find out some more about this puzzle specifically, go on to puzzle guys page there, but it does look like there is, look at that. Hey, look at that cool movement. So it comes up and then over yeah, really cool. unique. That was I think there's three pieces in here. I think it's a three piece puzzle. It looks like inside the frame. So, um, yeah, lots of different design aspects or elements to this because there's cutouts here. There's three cutouts kind of along the outside, which I suspect that these pieces will actually slide out, like out those, um, cutouts. Same in the bottom here. Actually here, look at this, look at this. This one slides in look at that out to the bottom. Nice. So it sticks out. So all those cutouts, that's really cool. All those cutouts will, uh, will definitely have pieces sticking out them. So, Cause I've got stuff, man, look at that. Like stuff's falling out the bottom, out the top here. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess you got to get it apart and then put it back together. Um, now that one doesn't have a moves list. You know how they have the moves with the decimal places? Mm -hmm. This, uh, this one does not, but the, the pepper caster does. It's 18 moves to get it apart. Then that's 11 moves to get the first piece out, four moves to get the next piece out and three moves to release that last piece. Um, it's made out of, uh, Zebrano is the frame on this one and Patayuk is the, uh, inside stuff. So, uh, yeah. I, I like this. I think this is like probably the one that, that would most interest me of the three we're doing today. I think is this uh, rattlesnake or the pepper caster. I mean, it's also, so it's a level eight. Yeah. I think that's what it for this one. So that's pepper caster there. And then last, uh, take a look at this one. I think this is actually the nicest looking one. Hey, I really like this one. Actually. This one? Like I was unpacking this one. I don't know, ever know what they are because you just sort of get them in a box, but there's like six new designs and this was the one that sort of stood out to me. Yeah, I think it's, all of it's unique looking. I like this one just as far as the look of the wood. I really like the, uh, I would say this is, this is Rattlesnake. It's made out of Wenge on the outside, I think. And then Zebrano is the pieces. Uh, again, Pelican um, and again, Alexander Magyarix. Um, it's, oh, I actually had the moves wrong on this. Hold on. This one, I, I keep getting them. pepper casters, 18 moves to get it apart, 15 moves to do the first, first piece, one moves to do the second piece, and then two moves to get the last piece out. So that's pepper caster. This is uh, rattlesnake and it's 18 moves to get the first or to get it apart. 11 for the first four for the second and three for the third. So, uh, yeah, this is a three piece puzzle here. Take, take a look at this one though. Not close, man. I was one piece off. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pull your, pull your rattlesnake one out. Cause this is one I also wanted to try. I think this one's quite unique and interesting. Um, it's a level nine. It's the hardest of all these and it has the least amount of pieces, which is crazy to me. Three pieces and it's this difficult. This is very similar to some of the Osinori Yamamoto stuff, right? Like he does, he often does this, this kind of the, the packing design like this, but there, I think there's gonna be a ton of movement in this one. I think you're gonna have to, yeah. And I wonder, it's honestly, cool that you have this hook to move things around with in there. Yeah, Weird. absolutely. Now what I, th you know what I think on this one, I think this one is gonna, it's gonna trick you, right? When you, when you're using, doing these, I usually go like, Hey, what's the biggest piece that's going to go in first. 
No. My, what I suspect on this one is that I think this is the last piece. Yeah, you'll probably put the other two in and then hook them around. I, I'd be willing to bet. Some... I'd be willing to bet that this is the last piece that goes in. And it's like there's some crazy misdirection on this. Because like for a three-piece puzzle to be a level nine, I mean, it's like what's what's that? What's the uh, how do you one? Cast rotor. It's a two-piece puzzle. It's a hard one. It is hard. So like, hard. yeah, some of these some of these ones with like fewer pieces are pretty sick. So I, I think, yeah, that's that. Honestly, that's my that's my guess is that somehow this this piece is the last one or something that goes in, or at least isn't the first one. But um, okay, so let's put those aside. We're done. The, the three pelicans. So see, these are three of the new pelicans. Um, let's move on to this. We have, we've done these, these before, uh, we've talked about them. This is, I can't think of their names. Grabarchuk. Grabarchuk, yeah. So this is the Grabarchuk family uh, out of their, one of their puzzle books. Um, and we're just going to try to do this puzzle. Tony, you cut it out here with an X-Acto knife before we shot. Yeah. And you literally just put all the pieces into the grid. Pieces can be rotated and flipped over, but not overlapped. We're just going to try really quick to do this and just see how it fits in we'll here. speed it up. Speed it up. So like, look at that. It fits like that. I was looking at these hook pieces. Yeah. Do you think this this fills? I think it probably fills all the dead space in here. Hey. So I, I bet you there's no there's no space that's not filled. Oh, there we go. Does that fit in? Super I like that. Weird. Okay. What the heck is that? This one's got a goofy angle on it. Where would that go? How do we do this? Oh, like this. Here we go. There you go. So they can be flipped. So like this piece could. Oh, but it doesn't go that way. Let's put let's try this one there. Right there. There we go. Let's flip some of these over. So like this one. Let's flip this one. There we go. Okay, that fits there. Do we have it? Are we close? But there's going to be. Well, I think you almost need no dead space in this puzzle. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Wow. There it is. So it's from uh, yeah, it's the Grabarchuk family. Uh, check out their their GrabarchukPuzzles.com, I think, or something yeah. like that. So Trap um, puzzles, man. Yeah, it's out of their puzzle books. We just we just copied this, printed it out, but it just gives you a little piece of what they do. Some really good puzzles, and it's kind of a co-op between the family and a whole bunch of other people, I think. So yeah, yeah. there's that. And in new news with that, this will be our last Grabarchuk puzzle. Thank you. <laughs> We are on to online buzz. So, uh, I was watching on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, that's the one. All YouTube. <laughs> Puzzle Wanderer. So I watched him do the lockbox. It's a sequential discovery by Eric Fuller. Eric Fuller has amazing puzzles. Honestly, we don't have any of his stuff at Puzzle Master. I don't know nope. if we ever have or not, but okay. just incredible. Honestly, super good puzzles. Really good sequential discovery stuff. And this lockbox was right in there. So This was the bowl one? No, this was not the bowl one. This okay. was different. Uh, I don't think you saw this one. But uh, yeah, Puzzle Wanderer does it. Go to his channel, check it out, Lockbox. It had like a funky key on it. It was like a little box and there's a key that fit in. Remember? Okay. Yeah, that was yeah. That, that first guy. I think you did see it actually, yeah. So check that out. Really good puzzle. Um, looks interesting. I love Eric Fuller's stuff. So um, yeah. Second, Mr. Puzzle. Uh, he created a, or got a puzzle created by an AI algorithm. And um, it's from Neural Puzzle dot com neuralpuzzle.com so it's this um it looks kind of like nosy like a square version of nosy yeah. hey so it's, it's like uh, a 16 piece nosy yeah 16 piece nosy really but without the like the nosy trick yeah but um yeah it's created by an ai algorithm um you can put in your color you want or colors and it's literally an acrylic frame with 16 like square pieces with kind of so like you can pick your difficulty on it too how yeah. the puzzle is to solve yeah and then it looks like a solar panel at the end. It does kind of look like cool. a solar panel. And the interesting thing I thought was that the puzzle it creates is a one of a kind, unique, nobody else has it. Mm -hmm. And they actually have like a thing that says like, nobody else can create this puzzle. Like it's illegal. Or so they, a certificate of authenticity yes. with, with your name on it. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. And so it was kind of neat. And he, he actually took him quite a while to do. He had two of them. So it took him about an hour and a half to do both, which I think for Mr. Puzzle is pretty long. So um, hard puzzles. 
jig yeah. puzzles. I, I actually was, I thought it was quite neat, neat and unique that you have a one of kind, one of a kind puzzle nowhere else. Yeah. yeah. But, and then last but not least, uh, I was watching a channel by a guy named Mike to Toulouse, Toulouse's. Okay. I don't know how to say his name, but, um, he did the cave box by Mr. Gwen Regal. Gwen oh, Regal? Man. Regal? Uh, this is the one we watched. This was cool. You want to talk? You explain it. You watched it with me. Yeah, this is the coolest puzzle box we've seen in a while. <laughs> so cool. Really cool. Sequential discovery. Um, yeah. So it's sort of, he has a, like a hut. So it's sort it's of like big. a little hut. It was big. It was pro honestly probably as big as our mat here. Yeah, yeah. And had like a little. Lazy Susan, so we could do the spin. So you could just see the whole thing yep. around. Yeah. And, uh, ton of tools that so the very top thing he finds the tool to open up the top thing the top thing comes off and then within the top thing that he opens up there's these pieces that have circles with them and you have yep. to fit that within a grid that has numbers and then the circles will reveal the numbers that you need for the combination lock that I'm on like the, the bottom the front of the cave slides yeah yeah man yeah, because there's cool. the whole puzzle centered around this like big cave, like it was just like a little like dome almost, and had wood pieces that slid on them. And you could see once mm -hmm. he, like once he pulled that part you talked about off, there was like a you could see there's a picture underneath, but the the pieces of that cave moved back and forth, and eventually would create a picture. I created a bison. We thought it was a bull at first. I created a bison, and it was it was really cool. I think the most the neatest part I think was when he pulled out along the sides that there's two like uh, long pieces that came out, and they were uh, they had like notches in them. Yeah. yeah, and so well, all he did was flip them over and put them back in, and then those notches when you the the pieces of the cave fit into those notches, and it created the the bowl or the bison on the yeah. top, and there were some words along it too, which it also. Matt, it was just really cool sequential discovery, yeah. really unique. I think that that cave piece, it centered around that. And that was, I think what made that puzzle so unique. Yeah, I wish design. I knew the write up beforehand, <clears throat> if they were just like, find the animal or like yeah. wrote the bull in the cave or something like that. Cause the, it, the whole thing is hidden under that very first puzzle that you have to. Yeah, it's like a box that comes yeah. off on the top. And so it was unique, I, I really cool. Um, Again, I think it's just one of those one-time things someone made. Like, I don't think yeah. this is like a, this is not, you're not going to be able to get it again. There's just one of them probably out so there. Cool. Maybe if they, yeah, whatever it is, it's oh, not. Oh, and the way that they made tools in this one, you get like the handle of a tool and you'd have to screw it into like the next piece of the tool, yeah. which would then unlock like, so your tool would keep getting bigger. Yeah, it got, it got bigger and bigger. Cool. He had this like all, it looked like an all, like those things you poke holes in shoes yeah, yeah. or leather with. So yeah, it was quite neat. Um, so check out Mike uh, Tulu, Toulouse's channel, that cave puzzle by Mr. Gwen Regal, Rigel. I've never heard of this Gwen guy. Me so I don't know. It was something we stumbled upon, really unique though. And I thought it was, we both, we sat there yeah, for really quite cool. a while watching it. The only thing I wish is that there was talking. I wish the guy that kind of walked you through what was going on and mm -hmm. said what was happening. Or they're just like, so what's his relationship to this guy and how do you yeah. get the box in the first place? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I would have liked to have found some of that stuff out, but um, worth checking out. That's, um, it's the end of online buzz. Cool. It's the end of our episode. Yeah. If you, we had new hats today. Oh, also. right. I completely forgot what to talk about these. Right. Uh, this is uh, Chris Ramsey's stuff. We're all Chris Ramsey. Today. I got Chris's shirt we ordered. Oh, nice. He put out, uh, Chris put out new um, merch here this last week. And I was like, hey, I'm going to go get some of that. Get so the merch. we got his first. It's his brand. So we got the, uh, like the, the hats, the trucker hat here. Yeah. And the, got the writing on the yep. side. Yeah, really unique nice. snapbacks. Um, we like them. So uh, the only problem I have is I have a big head. And, he has like, a giant head. I have a this giant is, head. This is some to be. I close. have I have it at like the second snap, man. It's like it barely fits. So <laughs> yeah, big heads, but Tony fitted quite well. So on a normal size head, you'd have no problem. But definitely go to Chris's shop and check some out. He had he had shirts too. Oh, hoodies. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So nice. really cool. His stuff is just nice. It looks good. It's good yeah. branding. So uh, yeah, Chris Ramsey, check him out. Cool. Um, Tony, where can they find our Instagram, stuff? Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Your chance to win a was it a key to cast key two from Make Puzzle Empire sure from Hanayama. Yeah. Um, Kelsey Lester. Kelsey. Info at puzzlemaster.ca. Yes. We're putting it here again. Past winners also right here again. Info at puzzlemaster.ca. Let us know. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and 
TikTok. Of course, puzzlemaster.ca. And puzzlemaster.ca, yeah. Nice. Yeah, next week I think we'll do some of our some of the Puzzle Master stuff that came in. There's a bunch of new like some puzzle boxes and cool. things. So we'll have that for you guys next week. This was uh yeah, some of the new Pelican stuff today. Thank you guys for watching. See ya. <laughs>